So reaching 50 was not something I was particularly happy about. Let's be honest, there isn't much to be jovial about. I have more hair in my ears than I do on my head, hangovers last for two days, and very soon I'll be using one of those gadgets to get my ball out of the cup to save me bending down. Or worse still, I might start to carry a golf ball retriever. 30 years ago, I would come to a place called Hill Valley in Shropshire for a day out, and I've come back to spend 24 hours at the hotel and golf course to establish if I can become a scratch golfer in my 50s and what it might take to get there. I'll be filming every shot I play and start to understand what are my shortcomings, where do I need to improve and can I reach that milestone. decent start at least and uh, a par the sun is coming out a little a little bit of breeze but i can't wait to show you around this place but i've got a lot that i need to discuss at the same time that was a really tough tee shot super narrow and uh yeah we've got one in around the 150 mark in A really good strike. Oh, that's disappeared. Could be a bunker that I wasn't aware of. Course management is supposed to be a strong point. Just broke after the hole. Right, so right now my handicap has leveled off in this uh, world handicapping system I'm sitting at 6.3 and what I understand from a lot of people is uh, the likelihood of being able to become a scratch golfer is a lot easier on the WHS system I don't think it's uh, going to be scratch of old as I know it but uh, we will be making an attempt what I want to know from you is what's the latest update on your opinion on this WHS as well is it any good or I'm not a great fan still I'll be honest with you we've got another really tight tee shot so it's going to be forward and that's what's improved so much is my control of the ball hitting it straighter swing is definitely much improved right now and uh, I would have really worried about that shot only just a matter a few months ago and we're right down the middle missing this shot left took the bunkers out the equation and although I was a little hefty with the first putt My clutch putting is another strong part of my game.
Another solid iron on four meant I found the centre of the green, but a long way from the flag. It's so nice to come back to a golf course that I've not been to for quite a number of years, to be honest with you. And it literally is only sort of a 45 minute drive from my house. I'm also pleased to see the condition that it's in because it's in really good nick, as you can probably tell. Greens are running superb. And I just wondered, is there a golf course that uh, you used to visit quite a lot that you're due back to and brings back some fond memories? Because this one, like I said, was very much part of my early days of golf. I was half decent then and probably where I'm trying to get back to and uh, maybe this will provide some inspiration. Right, whilst I just fill in the scorecard, happy with where we're at so far. Question for you about my game. Where would you say, if you watch the channel a lot, where do you think I need to brush up to make a little bit of a move forward from 6.3 down a little? Because my experience has always been that the difference between a six handicapper and a maybe two or three handicapper is vast. It's hugely different. It generally focuses around consistency in the main, across the board. But I also think the better players have always had a razor sharp short game. That's not easy to say. Um, so I don't know, but I'm gonna analyze what I'm doing right now as I keep playing, keep filming, and just see what I feel like it is that I just need to improve on. I would say personally, just some overall consistency and maybe sticking irons a bit closer to give me more of a chance of birdie, whereas at the moment I'm in that sort of two putt distance. Anyway, we're still one over. Stroke three, so I'm a little bit concerned. It's a par five. So my guess is it's quite tight up there. That's where I was aiming. Well, we're going to find out because unfortunately I can't quite remember the layout. Get in, get in, get in. Oh. Well, a little bit scrappy, but uh, that's why that short game is super important. You know, one great way to play Hill Valley and the number of the McDonald's courses is you run this thing called Race to Valderrama. And uh, effectively there are four events at each of the venues and you can play them, for example, here, Hill Valley, you can play in August for £20 a man. It's a four-man team event. And if you win that event, you then go through to the final at Cadrona. If you win that, you go to Valderrama. So it's a great way to play for, uh, like I said, 20 quid to play this type of courses. That's a real good deal, you know. Go on, go on. Oh, how good are the greens running? I think you can pick that up from that camera back there, but they're so pure. Nearly, need that birdie. But this is, of course, an episode of Off the Beaten Track, so we cannot have, uh, or cannot not have, a photo of the week competition so here you go Andy or Tracy in the comment section below the light is fading fast from this old town we gotta go I'm 
bags of packs of what we waiting for There's no point in delaying what we both already know Escape this time with me Right, well we're going to be staying here overnight and um, as you can see, really decent um, bedroom room we've been given. And I think that it's part of the McDonald Hotel Group and uh, they've got so many different sort of golf venues. But as a play and stay option, this is, um, well really for me, it's, I'm not going to start quoting prices, but have a look. There's some really cost effective options and I'm surprised as to how good this golf course is to be honest and uh, it's great to roll out of your room and onto the first tee. Anyway, we've got a par five to see if we can get onto. That's not turned enough. Get down now. Okay. Oh, that should be spot on. Didn't fade as I was trying to get it to, but yeah, happy with the strike. Go on, roll out. Go on. Go on. Ah. Birdie chance. Come on, let's get that birdie back to level par. Ah dear. Well, I tried to keep my head down. I've been told by Gary Player I've got to keep my head still a little bit longer over the putt, so I don't even know what that did, but I certainly missed to the left. I just realised that wasn't an intentional name drop, but if anyone's seen the video recently, I'd, uh, well, it wasn't so much a lesson, it was during the round. He told me how he kept his head very much still over the ball and waited for the sound of it dropping in the hole. So that's what I tried. I just didn't hear the end bit, which was the ball dropping in the hole. So maybe a good time as well to ask you to get involved in that comment section. The question I was going to ask you was, uh, let me know what you're working on, on your game right now, where you're sort of falling apart. Uh, but also to hit the like button and perhaps consider subscribing because it makes a massive difference to the video and how it gets shared. Uh, from YouTube's perspective. So if nothing else, if you can hit that like button, it's, it's a big help. I just hate asking on every video, but if I don't, it does tend to dip a little bit. Anyway, we've got stroke index one, and uh, from what I can gather, I need to be right side of that fairway, or we're gonna be struggling. That's just drifted just a tad further than I want it to be. Ah, well, it was a good ball, but that's going to leave a really difficult second shot in. Wasn't my best. Oh, come on, be right. Be the right club. Oh, yes. That's probably the best shot of the day. Well, that second shot is probably the reason it's stroke one. You had to be right side to get a line into this hole, but then that pond is extremely dangerous and why the yardage and why I was so delighted that we managed to get this, well, in and around the flag, at least anyway. That could certainly be a card wrecker. Right. So maybe, maybe this is the birdie. Come on, come on, oh, it slowed up. Oh my word, that looked in all the way. Ah, that's frustrating. That was a solid four on stroke one. I certainly take that at the beginning, but I thought I had the port, it just seemed to die a death very quickly. Right, so this is going to be my last hole in terms of this scoring and every single shot, just the nine holes, but I know there are some real key feature holes on the back nine, so don't go anywhere after this, because a couple of challenges that are coming on the back nine. But for me, I've got 160 in, and I really need to finish on a birdie. Great ninth hole, by the way.
come on, be right on the club again. I've struck the ball good today. Sit. Oh, that's a chance. That's a chance. That's a really sneaky pin. It's just a few yards on the front. And it's a slippery one back down the green. This is definitely... I'm going to go too bold and mess things. It's got a chance. It's got a chance. Oh, jeez. I said I didn't want to go bold. Wow. I said it was slippy down the slope. I don't know whether you can tell from back there, but... Well, chasing the birdie has now meant I've got a problem. Well, the putting's been good, but to be fair, it's always nice when you're putting on greens that are nice and pure. They just give you that extra bit of confidence to it, the ball's solid. So one over par, it's certainly the way I want to be going, the direction, trending in the right direction, I think they say, and uh, certainly moving towards becoming uh, a better player and perhaps even a bit lower down the handicap range. Is this the hole in one and a trip to Spain? Oh, it's long. Sit down. Oh, it's grabbed quick. So the back nine was more of the same. Some good work off the tee, fine in fairways, but I noticed through the round that my irons continued to be far away from flags. And as a reliance on my short game or realistically two putting and clearly an area that I need to work on. The 18th at Hill Valley is very much a feature hole. Drive down the left side ideally to leave a short wedge through the narrowest of gaps over a pond, which makes this a very nervy finish. Oh, that's disappointing to finish on a bogey. I left myself a real slippery downhill that I couldn't quite commit to. That's me done. This is definitely a, uh, let's call it a forgotten gem that uh, is well worth featuring and well worth playing. There's only one thing left for me to do. Let's finish off with a pint on the balcony. And it's a drive home and I'll see you next week.